Okay, this is my final presentation for the Cat Welfare Association, um, which I did my website on. So the Cat Welfare Association is again, uh, a cat shelter in Columbus, Ohio. Um, they're a no-kill shelter. They take in as many cats as they can. Um, they're really trying to attract, honestly, anyone and everyone. Their customer base is just people who want to either help out and volunteer at the shelter or actually adopt a cat. Um, and their main goal is to just get cats off the street and get them adopted and find them homes. Uh, these are what I originally identified as the objectives of the website, which is uh, basically informational. The website just needs to let people know, you know, what to do if they find a stray cat, um, when they can come in and look at cats and how to adopt them. Um, they also have to focus on getting people to volunteer and donate. Um, and then the user needs are, again, just informationally seeing what cats are available for adoption and what to do if they have a cat or um, ways to get involved. So this is the final site architecture that I came up with. Um, I really just tried to condense the options that were already there and group things together that made more sense um, and kind of limit, they definitely had a lot of pages. So like sponsor and membership I grouped together that weren't originally there. Um, foster, the option used to be more under volunteer, which I didn't think makes sense. I thought it would be better to group it with the cat category. So things like that. Uh, I will now show the final prototype. So this is the final website. Um, what I was able to do here, are all the, all the fun links. Um, so yeah, I will just walk through it now. So start on the homepage. Um, as far as redesign things that I did, um, I think a lot of the, pro the website's problem was that they had a lot of small kind of heavy chunks of text um, and weren't able to have a lot of contrast and like uh, kind of like highlight what are the important things on each page. So I definitely tried to clean that up a bit and draw some attention to what actually needed to be seen on the page and get rid of some of the text that I thought was unnecessary. Um, I also tried to utilize photos more of the cats because I thought that was a big thing that they just weren't really doing, which I thought was odd. Um, and I ended up keeping the color theme, um, but just tried to condense it a bit instead of they had like six or seven different types of green, I just tried to pick a few. So yeah, um, some of the options I put in, they have a lot of PDF links um, or little informational tidbits. So I made sure to do that and tried to make them stand out. Um, we can go to the about page. Um, I tried to make, since there is a lot of important text on the website, I tried to like, you know, keep most of it, but try to make it just a little easier to read or condense information that could be. Uh, so yeah, from here, um, one of the main things someone would be doing on the website. Yes, okay, sorry. I thought there was a moment where I was not recording this. Um, <laughs> So yeah, one of the main things someone would do on the website is go to the adopt page, obviously, to see what cats are available. Um, so here's that. I tried to make uh, the cats stand out a bit more. Um, there's options to sort by age, and male and female. Um, how they had this on the original website just looked very messy. So um, there's also in the link, a link to the adoption application and from there, something else someone would probably do is seeing ways to help out, seeing if they could foster any kittens. So this is the foster page. And again, with um, a lot of the PDF links that they have. 
another thing someone might do is try to see which ways uh, they can help out. So I made the community involvement page. Um, again, with the, with the design, I tried to keep it um, pretty straightforward. Their website is very informational. Um, what people would be coming to for this website is very just straight up informational, you know, so I didn't try to complicate things. Um, just made it uh, a lot of the links and information easy to find, tried to make um, contrast pretty straightforward. So yeah, and let's see, the last page I made was their shop called The Katik. Um, again, with the layout, just trying to simplify things and emphasize what needs to be emphasized. So yeah, that is the website, let's see. Back to this. Oops, sorry about that. Um, yeah, again, here's here's all the links and everything. Um, and yeah, basically, I found out from this process that it is very easy to find what's wrong with a website, but it can be hard to figure out how to fix it or what to focus on to fix. I think I got a little overwhelmed in that there seemed to be a lot of problems, and it's probably impossible to fix all of them. So it's important to just focus on a few. Um, I'd probably pick a different website in the future. I felt like this one, since it was very informational, there wasn't many places to go with it in like terms of big improvements. Like I felt like, you know, uh, they kind of had what they needed to have and you can make it look a little prettier, but at the end of the day, they still need all that information on the website. So that was something I learned. Uh, and thank you. <laughs>